Hey friends, Allison Hillman here. I am the Allison in BTP by Allison, been there photography. And this is a presentation of Lady Boss Branding with the three, two, one blast, where I'm bringing you the best St. Louis has to offer in the way of small business. I am so excited today to have my next guest on, Miss Christy Jackson. She is one, she is someone I consider a mentor. She's a Yoda to me. People laugh at me when I say that I'm a Star Wars nut, but um, you are a wealth of wisdom, my friend, and you're always there with the right thing to say and encouragement. And I'm just lucky to have you in my tribe. And I'm thank you for being on today. Oh my gosh. Well, you know what? It's always, if, if we have been chatting, right, since we pushed, you know, connect on this Zoom. So mm -hmm. anytime that I could connect with you, my friend, I'm just oh. so happy. I love your energy and your passion and your authenticity. Girl, you keep it real. And I, <laughs> I love that about you. So I, I'm looking forward to this conversation. Likewise. So Christy Jackson is the brain behind Bispiration. It, it, did I say that right, Bispiration? You did. You absolutely did. Um, it's one of her golden nuggets of DK Solutions. Um, you have a book out. I do. And guess what? Today is our launch day for the book. I was so oh, excited. Yes. yes, it went live today on Amazon. So, Oh my I'm gosh, so that's so exciting. Yes, Bispiration. It's your personal think tank journal. And we'll talk a little bit more about that. But yes. Well, tell me now. Live. Tell me now. Okay. All right. So listen, I formed the Bispiration brand because inspiration is my passion, right? You know, mm -hmm. helping people to understand what's possible for them, but also incorporating business strategies to help them reach their goals. So Bispiration really is the intersection where business and inspiration live, because that's honestly how we live and run our business. And so, you know, one of the challenges, underlying challenges that I have continually run into when coaching entrepreneurs um, is their mindset. And I've learned that your mindset, how you think really does determine how you thrive. And so I've been drilling down into thought processes and how critical thinking, right? Creative thinking, innovation, um, imagination, really is the foundation for growing a healthy and creative mindset. And so we do so much practice with building our business skills. We do very little practice with building our thinking skills. And so that's what this Vispiration personal think tank journal is all about. That's so amazing. I love it. So we're taking you through chapters on creativity, how to ask the right questions, um, how to compare and contrast. How are you the same or different? Because really this helps you come to your, um, your differentiator, right? The value that you add amongst your competition. So it, it kind of takes you back to the foundation of all of those strategies that we know that works in building a healthy business. So I'm, I'm really excited again. I have a background in education. And so I've used these strategies for over 20 years to help kids to think. And it's something that happens that adults stop thinking creatively. They stop trusting their own individualized ideas and kind of jump into this group thing. And so, you know what? I've had enough of it. Bispiration is all about, you know, stretching your thinking and changing mindsets. So I'm really excited about this journal because it's going to give those that are reading it a chance to, I call it the gym for the brain. Like you, you know, you go to the gym and you work your, your physical muscles. Mm -hmm. This is a workout for your thinking. And this is a time, um, Tammy Lewis and I talked about this the other night on the women of wealth call. And this, this is a Jonah time for a lot of people in their businesses and stuff. And a lot of people are having these Jonah moments. That's a Tammy Lewis. Nobody steal it. That is a Tammy Lewis thought. But um, this ties in perfectly for that because some people think that they're not creative and they've just never been challenged enough. There's no, I'm a photographer. Obviously I have way too many creative juices, but other people like my husband would say he's not creative at all. But let me tell you, when we were putting that baby room together, I got to see the kind of creative he is yeah. and how we got to tap into that. So, yeah, and one of the one of the most common misconceptions is that creative thinking is the same as creative expression. 
right? So creative yes. expression relates more to artistically, you know, your, your um, able, ability to draw, to sing, to dance, you know, to put a unique colors together and things like that. But creative thinking is totally different. It's using imagination, right. flexible thought, you know, bringing together two ideas that never would make sense and finding a through line between those ideas. And so anybody can do that. Anybody can do that if you practice thinking in that way. But we usually don't think like that. So that's right. why it seems, you know, like we're not able to do it. So much collaboration is going to come from this journal. Yes. That is what excites me. I feed off seeing people collaborate together and oh, I just can't wait. It, it it's going to be a thinking about it. of fresh ideas and empowerment. Um, you know what? And each individual uh, session challenges you to think from a unique perspective, and it always ties it back to what you're doing and what you need to know for today. So you're practicing the skills, but you're also applying it to your unique experience, your business, you know, whatever goals you're trying to reach. And let me just clarify this too. This book is not just for entrepreneurs. It's not just for leaders. It's for anyone that has a goal to attain. I mean, it could be to, you know, achieve your greatest dream to travel across the country, even though, you know what, that's a dream that we're going to reach one day. I believe it. We're going to come out of these homes. We're going to see the world and connect with each other again in the ways even better than we were before. But um, it's not just for entrepreneurs. Anyone can benefit from thinking more critically in their life because it applies oh, absolutely. to decisions you make. Yeah, any, any decisions you have to make. And it would be important for parents, too, to tap into that again, because we have to teach our young people how to do this. Absolutely. And you know what? It's not just for parents. Kids can use right. this, too, because Absolutely. kids actually think more creatively than their parents do. Well, that, I know that's right. <laughs> I mean, they don't have the limitations of thought that we do. They don't have the limited thinking that we do. So right. this can really be used with families. So if someone right now is watching this and they're like, man, this Christy Jackson is smart. I need her coaching in my life. What, what does that look like? How do they make that happen? Yeah. So typically individuals will reach out to me via email or, you know, they'll contact me via social media and I can share those links with you um, so that you can, you can post them there. They will but be in the description on this. So if you're on Facebook, look above. If you're on YouTube, scroll down a little bit. Absolutely. But if you want to go right away, I have two ways that you two sites that you can reach me on. Abispiration.com um, is where we, you know, you'll see all of our resources and our workshop offerings, our coaching. Um, and I am Christy Jackson.com is my personal website where you can reach me for speaking opportunities um, and, you know, personal coaching and, and training as well. That's awesome. So, <laughs> As I always say, business needs to be personal. You need to find someone that matches your your faith, matches your morals, all the things and your personality and your your definition of fun. Mm -hmm. So let's let's ask some questions of Miss Christie to all find right. out her as a person. So this is the three, two, one blast. I'm gonna set my timer on my phone. All right, Christy, what motivates you to work hard? Oh, God. Fulfilling God's purpose for me. I realize that, you know, my life plan is bigger than myself. There are dreams that I've accomplished that I've never would have been able to. And so my motivation is to accomplish that plan that God continually to reveal, continually reveals to me um, that I can accomplish through him. That's amazing. Um, what is the most daring thing you've ever done? Oh, gosh. The most daring thing that I've ever done is parasailing. And oh, you know yeah. what? I won't do it again. But you know what? <laughs> it's kind of like, you know, my husband went up there before I did and he looked like he was so at peace. And I'm like, okay, I can do this. When I got up there and man, it was a beautiful view, but I was terrified. But you know what? Once I got down, he's like, yeah, I was afraid too. I'm like, you know what? If you would have told me that, I would have never <laughs> gone up there. Maybe that was there Jesus that knew you needed a one and done. He knew that I needed a one and done because you know what? I feel like if I can do that, I can do anything. It's true. Yeah. What's your favorite season? Summer is my favorite season. You know what? And I think that comes from me working in education, being out of school. 
your, uh, your time just, to breathe. My time to breathe and reflect. Yeah, that's my favorite. What is your favorite drink? Well, um, I would say, you know what? That's a tough one. Pepsi. I'm a Pepsi drinker. Um, yeah, that's my favorite. Pepsi. All right. If it, you knew it was your last meal, what are you eating? Macaroni and cheese and mm. grilled chicken wings. All right. <laughs> All right. What makes you laugh the most? Oh, life. Life makes me laugh the most. Um, you know, I love connecting with people. That really brings me the most joy. Mm -hmm. And I've just been so blessed to know some amazing, positive, uh, you know, individuals that inspire me, that are just a hoot, have such a great sense of humor, that keep me laughing. Uh, my household is, everyone in my household is hilarious. And so <laughs> we're always laughing around here. So that's, you know, it's just life and, and relationships. You know, people make me laugh. What is your proudest accomplishment? My proudest accomplishment is being a mom and a wife. And I'm really proud of that because you can look at the fruit of those relationships. Mm -hmm. And my husband and I have been married for 22 years and mm. it feels like day one for us. We love each other. So we, we work together. We're great friends. And our children are doing very well in life. They're happy. They, they love God above all. They're very creative and happy in, um, in their endeavors. And through all of that, I haven't had to sacrifice my family relationships uh, to follow my dreams of, you know, being an entrepreneur and author. And, you know, so that's my greatest um, accomplishment. And it's only been able, you know, God has been the through line for all of that. Uh, because we've kept him at the center of it. So he's made it all possible. That's amazing. You guys inspire me. I love the longer I'm married, the more that I appreciate people that have been married even longer because it's been 10 years for Jason and I. Mm -hmm. So, um, and it's the same thing, you know, just keeping the thing, the focus where it needs to be. And anyway. Yeah. I heard one of my mentors says, uh, keep the main thing, the main thing. And you can't forget that, you know, can't forget it. St. Louis lightning round. What is your favorite St. Louis zoo animal? Zebra. All right. Um, what is your favorite St. Louis attraction? And it can be Metro. Um, the magic house. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think that's a cool a place for adults and kids. I mean, mm -hmm. it just kind of sparks my imagination and creativity. And, um, you know, sometimes you're so bogged down with life and work and, you know, those things, it's just fun when, um, you know, when I would go there to just, we've had good memories at that place. I'm ready for Jace to be old enough to toddle around in there. Cause I know they have the, based on the ages too. He just a little bit bigger, just a yeah. little bit. Uh, -huh. uh, friends come to St. Louis. They ask you to show them the city. Where are you taking them? Well, one of the first places I'm going to take them is Ted Drew's because I love, love ice cream. Um, the second place I'll take them is the Arch because I love how they've renovated it and they have such gorgeous, you know, yeah, great exhibits there. Um, and then the third place that I would take them would probably to catch, um, to catch a show at the Fox. I love musicals. And, you know, I don't get to go very often, but when I do, I really, really do enjoy it. That is one of, it's such a gorgeous space and like the history yeah. behind it. it mm. All gorgeous. right. So what, um, what is your favorite St. Louis restaurant? Mm. Well, let's see. You might have, let's, let me think about that. You know, I, I have done, I do more eating at home, but the one that we have been eating at most recently before, you know, this COVID quarantine mm -hmm. was a PW pizza. Love that spot. Love that place. Um, you know, you can get great, they have great salads and they mm -hmm. have great, you know, pizzas and I, the calzone is my favorite. Same. Uh -huh. You don't have to get pizza every time. That's what I love yeah. about it. Yeah, I actually, I haven't even had, my kids have had pizza. My husband has gotten it, but I always get the calzone and the salad. It's woo, delicious. So good. Yeah. All right. So last question. Do you have just 
a business, personal, or family motto that you live by? Hmm. Say yes to new adventures. That is my motto for this year. And adventures, you know, do not have to be a physical experience. It's for me trying something new and getting out of my comfort zone. I love it. I love it. All right. Christy, thank you so much for being with me today. Folks, this has been another episode of Lady Boss Branding 321 Blast, where we're keeping business personal. Remember, when a small business owner makes a sale, they do a little happy dance. So make sure you're shopping local and put a little groove back into our world. Have a great day.